Good morning and grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. The reading for the second Sunday after Pentecost is from Luke chapter 8 verses 26 to 39. And they arrived at the country of the Gadarenes, which is over against Galilee. And when he went forth to land, there met him out of the city a certain man, which had devils long time, and wear no clothes, neither abode in any house, but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out and fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God most high? I beseech thee, torment me not. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man, for oftentimes it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains and in fetters, and he brake the bands, and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. And there was there a herd of many swine feeding on the mountain, and they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them, and he suffered them. Then went the devils out of the man and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake, lake and were choked. When they that fed them saw what was done, they fled, and went and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what was done, and came to Jesus, and found the man out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also which saw it told them by what means he that was possessed of the devils was healed. Then the whole multitude of the country of the Gadarenes round about besought him to depart from them, for they were taken with great fear, and he went up into the ship and returned back again. Now the man out of whom the devils were departed depart, besought him that he might be with him. But Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to thine own house, and show how great things God hath done unto thee. And he went his way and published through the whole city how great things Jesus had done unto him. The Gospel of the Lord. At the word of Jesus, the devils departed from the man they possessed. They had no power over Jesus. Jesus simply commanded them to depart, and they did. As I read this this morning, it reminded me that according to the epistles of James, chapter 2, verse 19, the devils believe God, but they tremble in that knowledge. James wrote, Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. The devils were afraid of his power and his authority. The people who had heard how Jesus healed the man by routing out the de demons out of him were also a whole lot of what, afraid of what Jesus could do, of his power and his authority. They didn't rejoice over the healing of this man who had suffered so much. They asked Jesus to leave the area because they were afraid. It strikes me that many today are also afraid of his power and authority. They don't want their demons evicted from their lives. They do not suffer quite as bad as the demoniac in Gadarenes, but they suffer and they don't even realize that it is the evil one that they have allowed into their lives that is causing the suffering. Rejecting Christ's presence in our lives will definitely cause us suffering as we then allow the spiritual powers that do not have our own best interests into our lives. There was one amongst them, though, that was not afraid of Jesus, and that was the man who th had the demons evicted from his body by Jesus. He wanted to be with Jesus. He wanted to go with this man who had given him a new life. Yet Jesus told him, No, return to thine own house, and shew how great things God hath done unto thee. And he went his way, and published throughout the whole city how great things Jesus had done unto him. There are many who are afraid of their lives being changed if they actually listen to Jesus, if they believe in him. They don't want to change. But for many centuries now, there have been those 
who do believe and they have carried the message down to even us. There have been many who have been healed of their sin sick souls. And the message from Jesus to us is the same as it was to the demoniac that he healed. Go and tell. Show others, tell others the great things that God has done for you. May God empower us to do as the demoniac did and go forth sharing the good news of the kingdom through Jesus Christ with all people. In Jesus' name, amen.